what up guys, James here, and today I'm gonna give you my top 10 tips for the Barista Express. Let's go. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. We have all kinds of coffee videos on this channel, and I've had the Breville Barista Express for a long time. I've made a lot of videos on it, but now I have new tips for you guys, and these are my favorite tips, and they've really kind of bumped this machine up to like a prosumer level. Of course, you guys can check out the links below for more information. I have descaling videos, I have back flushing videos, and there's also links to all these products in the description below, so you can check that out for more information. Tip number one, the machine is very difficult to move every single morning from underneath the cabinets here. So put some placemats or some cloth under there so that way you can easily slide it around, maneuver the machine as you want. That has made a world of difference. I used to just pick the whole machine up and that's just not elegant. If you want, you can also make one of these like I made. This is basically like a, like a, a tile from the hardware store. And all I did was glue some wheels on it and you can actually put the machine on this as well and move the whole machine around. Um, so those are just easy ways to maneuver the machine while you're using it. So tip number two is I actually made a bottomless porta filter. So here's my porta filter here. You can see I used an angle grinder and I cut the bottom off. Some people call this a naked porta filter. You can see it's, it's not finished. I made some angle grinding mistakes. <laughs> But now I can see the extraction happening in real time. This gives me a real diagnosis if there's any, you know, pits or holes or pockets in the extraction. So this just makes it really easy to, you know, make more consistent shots. And I think the crema actually turns out better because as it's extracting, it's not going to uh, touch anything on the way out. It's going right into your cup. So this is just an awesome way to, you know, level up your machine here. My next tip is to get an airtight container for your beans. This keeps them fresher longer. And really when it comes down to the machine, it, it loves fresh beans and that's a huge tip. Um, so get a container like this and I dose out my beans by the grams. I got this little cheap scale, you can check out the link below. And uh, this is like a super, um, well, relatively accurate scale. And so I do about 20 grams. So I just kind of weigh it right on here. So that's about 20 grams. And then I'm gonna take this, put it in the hopper here. And my next tip is to get one of these. This is a redistribution tool. It's awesome, it's on Amazon. You can check the link below. And basically it is, this side you know, distributes the grounds in the porta filter evenly, and this side tamps it. And there's little knurlings right in here so you can really fine tune this, so you can twist it to any kind of desire that you would like. I've kind of fine tuned it right around there. But the idea is I can make consistent shots with this device and it's really heavy, it's about a pound. So we put our basket right here full of grounds and we're gonna put our tool right on top and we're gonna spin it. And this isn't really tamping, it's more just distributing the grounds evenly as you can see. So this is 20 grounds or 20 grams exactly inside flat. Now what we can do is we can spin it around and we can tamp it. Um, this is really kind of up to you and how you like to tamp. I'm somewhere around there, but you know, you could you could go harder too. You'll, you'll figure that out based on your preference and your grind, but that's basically it right there. And then the next tip, of course, is to get a paintbrush so you can get rid of all these grinds right here. I find that super helpful. I don't want to get this in the machine. And um, so just, you know, get, get a cheap paintbrush. And if you guys really get anything from this video, this little tool right here, the, the distribution tool, it's just kind of made everything more consistent and easier. And most of, most espresso machines are, I think, 58 millimeters. And this is, this is 53. So this is why this is like perfect for the Barista Express. So we're gonna place our scale right here. And what you want with espresso is a two to one ratio or a one to two ratio. So 20 grams inside the basket and we're gonna want 40 grams of actual liquid espresso. So we're gonna place this in here and we're gonna purge it. We're gonna get rid of all that water. You know, whenever I do the first rinse, I get rid of a lot of that um, colder water that's stuck in the group head. So now we should be fresh. Okay, so now we have the porter filter on. We've got the scale turned on. I, my, my next tip is to get a timer. This helps you time the shots. You can use your phone, but it's not as helpful. And this one even has a magnet. And so I can stick it right here if I want next to the button itself. 
right there. So this just helps me time the shots. It helps me, you know, keep more consistent. So right when I push this button, I'll push start at the same time. We're going to check the scale. We're going to make sure that we get around 40 grams out. So here we go. And we're going to look down there and we're going to look up at the portafilter as well. Looks like a pretty good extraction. Okay. All right. All right, looking good. So right when this is right around 40, I'm gonna push this button again. Oh, 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 I stopped a little too soon. The espresso looks very nice, very viscous. And this is where you can also, if you want, you can buy a thermometer. And I use this for milk steaming, but you can also stir the espresso before you try it. And right around 155 is right around where I have it normally. There it is. So this could be another tip is just to buy a, a digital thermometer. It's great for stirring. It's great for uh, milk frothing as well. Super strong but it's not bitter, it's not sour. So that one to two ratio is perfect for me. I roast my own coffee too, so that helps a lot. It keeps things very fresh. People always ask me, you know, what are your Barista Express settings? Um, it's not really about the settings as much as it is the fresh coffee. Um, so I actually have a coffee roaster. I think there's a link below to get one. Um, but if you can't do that, I always tell people, um, go to Trade Coffee. Um, I got some right here. This is. Uh, Passion House and Airship. So Trade Coffee is like a, a website. They have like 50 different roasters from all over the country and they ship directly fresh to your door. So, you know, if you can't get fresh coffee or, you know, at your local roaster, check out Trade because they have a ton of different options here. So when it comes to steaming milk, I tend to prefer whole milk just because it tastes better and I think the foam is better. But um, all, I got, all I do is I turn the machine on right here like that. I let it heat up. You're gonna see this button stop flickering. And that's when you know it's time to start. And I'm gonna do some ghost frothing. I'll show you in a second. That means I can let my hands go. So now I can let my hands go. I can see it's stirring nicely. And so I just tilt it just like that. And I let it go. And then I use my thermometer here. And we're gonna go until about 150 degrees or so. I think 150 degrees 155, that's kind of my sweet spot. Purge it. You always want to purge it. We'll wipe it down later, but it should look like paint, like wet paint. So I'm not the best at latte art. And on camera, it's a lot harder, it always is. But you always want to kind of do that and stir it around. And then you can start pouring. Ooh, that was a really thick cappuccino. Um, I've done a lot better latte art on my Instagram. But uh, in this case, that's okay, because guess what? You put some cocoa powder on it and people think you're professional. They can't believe how amazing you are. So when in doubt, cocoa powder it out. I think the real trick with foaming isn't really the latte art. I mean, that's super nice. Um, I do it a lot of times better than I did today, but um, really not, not steaming too hot, you know, right around 150 degrees. And so if you go too hot, like around 170 degrees Fahrenheit, you're losing lactose, you know, you're, you're losing the natural sweetness. So try to keep it right around 150-ish, should be good to go. And of course, the last tip is the cleaning products themselves. I've had the machine for four years, it runs great. Because of Ernex products, they're kind of like the industry standard of cleaning products. And um, they have Descal, Kafiza, and Grinds that I use. Um, I've done videos on how to descale the machine, so you can check that below, and back flushing. Um, so that's that, but let's show you how to use the grinds because grinds help you clean your grinder. Let's go. So here are grinds. As you can see, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, they're designed to clean your grinder. I do this about once a month, and all they really are is just like these little tablets made out of grain. I don't know what kind of grain they are, but I'm pretty sure it's like rice and corn. But uh, yeah, I put a cap full in your grinder like that. And if you have you know, a really dirty grinder, you can do this more. Um, but basically it takes all the oils out of the burrs so that you don't get like an oil buildup or lose sharpness of your burrs or get that weird coffee stank. So easy as that. So now you can tell that we have all of the grounds uh, out of there, all of the grinds out of there. So you can see actually the oils um, and the leftover pieces of coffee. So, um, 
basically it's as simple as that. Do that once a month, you're gonna keep your grinder clean. I've never had to you know, disassemble my grinder, and I think um, these grinds really just help with that. So yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> so that is it for the Barista Express. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this $500 machine can now compete with like a $2,000 machine in my opinion. And um, you know, this takes work and practice and there's a bunch of little gadgets here, but um, it makes the experience much better, trust me. And it's also very tasty practice, so. Ah, peace. I've had enough fun for today.